Alrighty, hello again, everybody. I know this is almost like back to back, but I had such horrible lighting and it was just so spur of the moment, uh, the video last night for both of the newer items. And um, I really wanted to take a closer look in some natural light. I tried setting up in direct sunlight and it was just, the stuff is so gleaming, uh, shiny that it was just tons of flash so i'm set up in the shade hopefully this works a little bit better um we will see it looks like my camera keeps wanting to keep doing micro auto adjustments every few seconds i'm not sure why that is but anyways so here we go i wanted to do this um just to kind of show these off a little bit more a little bit closer look in natural light and uh and talk about the predecessors and the blending, so to speak, a little bit more. So what we have here is a combination of two worlds, the V2, which is the Blackens Titanium, and it only came in Blackens Titanium because of the wear resistance. Um, it was his first uh, true venture into the seamless uh, hidden magnet worlds outside of the Bean. Uh, by technicality with the bean um, and of course you all know you all know this I've done a few videos on this I've showcased this uh, and then we have here let's go ahead and do like a uh, side rotation all right there we go there we go should have just had them like that, that to start with. So, uh, blending of the two worlds here with this. I'm using gloves specifically uh, in these videos with this one because this particular one right here, um, to be honest, it I want it to stay like mint mint. I have another one that is planned on being a user on the way, so I'm willing to be a little patient. Uh, but I feel okay using it with gloves. So I'm not at least getting my skin oils all over it and inside of there. Pain in the butt to get all those oils off with all those grooves all over this thing. So gloves it is. And this video really is just to showcase how it sounds. We're outside now, so you're gonna get some wind feedback and outside noises. I got some chimes in my yard. It does that quite nicely. I really love that side, like the, the rotation, the feedback it gives while doing that rotation. It's so, it's so hard to describe it and I'm, I'm not even sure how it's going to pick up on the camera. absolutely this thing is absolutely beautiful uh i feel like even spending just the uh small amount of time i have with gloves on um and playing with this even a little bit off camera um with the glove on today just sitting here and relaxing for a minute my hand's so sweaty in here now spending this glove now for like 10 minutes before the video even started um It's so hard to describe it, but man, it just feels so nice. My buddy Pluke, the mod on the group, what's up Pluke? He does this thing, and I'm not sure how he does it. I'm not even sure which way he holds it. He does it with the Argyle V1, and it's almost like a, a trigger pull backwards, I guess. 
I haven't perfected it yet. I can't even do it on the V1. I keep wanting to lift it up. Uh, kudos to you, Pluke, because your hand operates uh, better than mine, because I've seen you do it all the time. I know it's your go-to way with the Argyle. I've tried to mimic it. For some reason, I can't. So... Argyle V1.1. This is the basically the baby of the V1 and the V2. Let's jump over, get a good look at this. Wish my phone would focus. Please focus. There we go. Man, it's going to be such a garbage video. What the heck? Ooh, but that definitely looks much nicer through the camera in natural light. That is some really gorgeous artwork there. That's just popping, it really is. So I got with Ivan to confirm because I wasn't quite sure uh, what I was looking at in his video for the assembly process. And um, can you hear that? Oh, please tell me you can hear that. It's almost got like this little miniature micro zip tie effect that I talked about in my other video. I really like it. It's like these ridges crisscrossing each other. Really, really like that feedback there. Um, feels very cool. So, and then of course, this is the brainchilds or the, the child of uh, the Kraken and kind of the V2 technology, but not quite. You got the black and titanium here. Oh, yeah. Yep. Already getting distracted with these. Ah, oh, I forgot about that. How can I do this? There we go. I wanted to see what that looked like in the natural light. Let's really focus right there on that. Oh, my goodness, man. That is such a gorgeous... Beautiful internals on this. That reminds me very, very much of the feel of an older Zippo. Um, so anyways, I digress. I, I do this all the time, guys. I get all distracted in my videos. See, that's why I shot another video. So at least we can get a little bit closer of a look, a little bit better light, right? Things, how they look in the light. Do, do, do. Do, 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 do. Maybe too much light. Jesus, I just, the stuff gleams so much. And then you get this all patinaed out. <laughs> Um, yeah. So anyways, uh, this is the child of these two here. So I got with Ivan, uh, to finish what I started saying. And what I said last night, uh, is indeed accurate. It is pressed and then it's like a rolled edge, kind of like a, uh, like a can, like that rolled over edge. So this is, uh, pressed with a rolled edge. So, that, uh, that means that's pretty darn locked in there. That is super locked in there, then, if that's the case. And I can see it now, because I was trying to see, like, the seam where the titanium, the black and titanium used from the V2. I was trying to see, um, the seam. 
and they're basically like there is no seam it's like the seam tucks under the edge so when he said rolled i was like yep that that pretty much explains that so this is locked together rolled edge outer shell of um, brass bronze material and inner is the i believe this is bronze whereas this was brass if i remember correctly um inner material of course is the blackened treatment titanium that we now all know from uh, the wear resistance of the v2 Um, this does not have the click function. I did not mention that last night. Totally distracted. I talked about the clicking on this and the two different types of clicks on the original old school model with the exposed magnets. Um, I did not bring up that this does not click. This loses the click function, maintains everything else with a whole different feel because of the size and feedback. I really like this. I really, really like this. And it actually feels like more, almost like more secure in its action. Yes, I do want to say that this feels more secure in its action. Um, if secure would be the right word to use than the Kraken. Maybe it's because it's thicker. A little bit heavier. just more solid on the actual snapping into place. But they are just gorgeous pieces. This is basically just a 15 minute video on top of two other videos just to kind of look at these a little bit closer. Again, this is the Compaform, uh, the V2 coin. Laugh now. Cry later. Beautiful artwork on there. Um, just has a very three-dimensional look to it. Very, very nice. Um, this is the Compaform. Well, it's all Compaform, of course. They're, this is the V1.1 Argyle. This is going to go... Oh, no. Touching it with my sweaty hands. Exactly why I'm wearing this darn glove. Um, this is the... Oh, damn it. Uh, this is the brainchilds of these. I think this is going to go on to be to be remembered as a, a, just an overall great item. Feedback, look, feel, sounds. Oh, my first hop. That was my first hop with this. Uh, that hop was actually... I'm actually kind of glad that happened. That hop occasionally happens uh, with the free-floating sliders that can be, um, can be troublesome, that hop, because, um, you know, there's nothing to catch it, and it's going to fall. That's one reason I like track sliders... That's one reason I like all my track sliders is because uh, even if you do get that occasional little hop in between magnets when it's transitioning, uh, typically the bar, the track, somehow, some way prevents it. I, like, I've never had droppage on any of my track sliders. I mean, these are brand new, so I really can't say much for carry time, but I've carried my, uh, my OG Compaform gear track sliders, clovers, argyles, different metals for all of them, the Kraken, uh, all of them, and I've never had a accident happen like I have with free floaters, um, all free floaters, even the V2, um, I've had a few drops uh, over soft surfaces, of course, because I know what to, to uh, look for with free floaters, so I only use these when I'm sitting down, um, I only use those when I'm sitting down or over softer surfaces. I'd even do it over a wood floor, but not tile, concrete, stuff like that. Just because the nature of the beast. It is the nature of the beast. 
So there we go. Over 15 minutes. I hope you all got a good look at these. This is pressed with a rolled edge, internal black titanium, external bronze or brass. A very, very fantastic upgrade to the uh, coin series. This is a absolutely magnificent blend between the V2 and the V1. It took both worlds and brought them together into this just visually stunning visually stunning piece it really is that is visually stunning it's very clean very clean um action is very very nice very nice almost uh somebody had said surgical in the past and i'm going to use that term here almost like surgical in the action very very nice this is magnet strength is like perfect it feels almost identical it it might be the extra weight that makes it feel almost a little bit stronger, but honestly, it it feels almost identical. So if you're familiar with the uh, classic Argyle, then, um, you know, you know what to expect. Just a beautifully done done example y'all have a good one huge video over nothing i'm literally going to name this on my youtube channel channel because all my long videos i do and upload onto the youtube channel and uh i'm just going to call this another look <laughs> at the v1.1 and the v2 coin so there you guys go a little bit more details on the blending of the two three types of generations here into these new generations and uh just hoping that at least some of this video came out semi-clear and it was able to maintain focus and really show these off. Every time I look at my camera, it looks like it's out of focus. So hopefully the whole video is not like that. Love, peace, and chicken grease. God damn. This glove's so annoying.